shooting macro at night isn't too much different than shooting in the morning or midday, except for the obvious lack of sunlight. But as long as you have a continuous light source and a flash, then it shouldn't be many issues. The most important piece of equipment for night photography is a continuous light source. This will help you see the subjects through your viewfinders or your camera screen, and also will help you find subjects in the dark. It doesn't have to be anything expensive. It could be something as simple as a flashlight, or you could even use the flashlight on your phone because I've done that too, and it can work just as well sometimes. Whenever I go out for nighttime photo sessions, I will use a Viltrox LED light and I'll have it attached to my flash with rubber bands. These lights are really bright and have a pretty good battery life. And you can also adjust the brightness and the temperature of the light. And they're pretty cheap too. You can get them for under $50. If you are interested in this light, I will have a link to this product in the description. I have it attached to my flash majority of the time because having your light source on your camera will make things much easier. Before I started using this light, I used to use a flashlight and I would hold that in one hand with my camera in the other and it was doable but having your source on your camera just makes taking photos much easier. As you can see in this picture, along with the others later in the video, as long as you are using a flash, your continuous light source won't affect how the image turns out. And also, your usual camera settings that you use during a morning or a midday session will work just as well at night without changing them too much. <laughs> Most of your photos on a night session will have a dark background, except for scenarios when your subjects are either low to the ground or they are on the ground. If you don't like dark backgrounds, then you could use some background cards or something similar and set it up behind your subjects if possible. A good reason why you should try nighttime macro is because there is a chance that you will find bugs that you normally wouldn't see in the daytime. There are lots of wildlife that are active at night such as orb weaver spiders, wolf spiders, moths, and many more. For me, whenever I go out at night, I'm always on the hunt for wolf spiders and tiger beetles because I rarely ever see them during the daytime hours but I didn't find any during this session, unfortunately. Bugs can also be easier to attract at night by using a light trap if you are into that. I've never used a light trap before, but they work good for attracting bugs.
Bug behaviors at night will vary. Some will be very active, making them almost impossible to photograph, while others will be resting, making them easy to get photos of. But it also just depends on what you're photographing and also the temperature outside. This session was in late June, so it was a pretty warm night and every bug I encountered was active and moving around. On cooler nights, there is definitely a better chance that the bugs you encounter will either be at rest or slow moving. Shooting macro at night isn't as complicated as it may seem. All you need is a continuous light source paired with a flash and you're all set. It's definitely worth a try if you want to change up your normal routine or possibly find new bugs that you've never seen before. If you like this video, then make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Shit wasn't even on anyway.